Hey guys, Joey here, and I wanted to introduce you to my new candle. It's gonna hang out with us for the rest of this video. But anyway, uh, this video is gonna be about the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Uh, it's something that I recently purchased, and I believe it deserves some, some explanation because things haven't gone exactly right with the phone. So I'm gonna get into that. I'll also give you my review of the phone how i like it and i'll also show you guys a phone case a beautiful leather phone case that i think you'll absolutely love um that just came out today for the phone i know a lot of people have had issues looking for a case for this phone so look no further if you don't mind the price i know it does get a little pricey they do have cheaper options that's what i do like about the the company so without further ado let's get right into it I have the Galaxy Z Fold 2. It is right here in this bag. This is not an unboxing video. I have already taken this phone out of this box, but I put it back because I want to show you how dramatic it is <laughs> taking this phone out. So it's a pretty big box. Um, the phone is unfolded inside. So there you go. You start seeing the butterfly effect that they're going for. And then it opens up. And already you're welcomed with a change the shape of the future card. Introducing Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Reimagine the possibilities of the smartphone experience. Unlock endless versatility and enjoy unrivaled engineering and craftsmanship. Welcome to the new mobile era. And then there's their uh, Samsung box that usually has the SIM card remover and like the battery, whatever. I'm not even going to open that. And then right before you get to the phone, you see a Galaxy Z Premier Service card. And on the card, there's a barcode that takes you to their Premier Service online support. The second line is a Galaxy Z Concierge. Please call us at 1-888-970-3653. And the last thing on this, which I think is the absolute greatest, is the one-year screen replacement offer. It's a one-time out-of-warranty screen replacement within one year of the purchase for the special price of $149 plus taxes. If you purchased your Galaxy Z before December 31st, 2021. And then underneath that, is the phone where you just pull this sleeve and then the phone comes out and then obviously underneath you have the sim card the charger and then that's it it's just a box this is the film that originally came on the phone and it has care instructions what to do what not to do um i don't think this is what they gave the first time and people were very confused uh, I'll, I'll just read the basics. Don't press the screen of the or the front camera lens. When folding the device, make sure there's nothing in the middle. This is not a dustproof or waterproof device. Don't remove the film in the front and letting you know that it has magnets to keep it uh, away from uh, any magnets you may have inside your body. And that's that's the actual truth. I'm gonna show you the phone right now. Let me just give it a nice little wipe down. And here's the phone. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And here's the back. I got the Z Fold in Mystic Black. And I think it looks great. See the hinges black as well. And it's just such a beautiful device. I couldn't have been happier with this purchase. When it comes to the device. However, my thoughts on Samsung and, and how they shortcutted this entire thing, I'm not so happy. But we'll get to that in just a moment. The wallpaper service that none of us use. Then you unlock the phone. And then, boom. 
you're right right in there here's the other apps and i just love how this phone works i mean when watching netflix it just looks amazing I and mean, look at that press play helps you know tells you to reorientate two speakers one on each side full speakers blasting getting that surround sound you can even get more immersed thank you to all the fans in the city of chicago and on top of that not only does Watching Netflix looks so beautiful and movies and, you know, YouTube, Hulu, all of the above. But there are specific apps that help you utilize the phone itself. So, you know, scrolling, is, it's beautiful. You get to see many rows at the same time. Uh, let's just click this J. Cole video. And look, you can easily just scroll on the right and scroll down here down the comments. And on top of that, you can make the video full screen. And depending on how you hold the phone, if you tilt it in a little, it creates this other mode where you can watch the video up top and then just use the bottom for comments and scrolling and typing. So I thought that's really cool. It has other really cool features with the camera. And I'm sure going into the future, there's going to be more uh apps and more companies that's willing to work with the z fold 2 so i definitely love the phone um i've been thinking about whether i'm going to keep it or not and i think it's an absolute keeper i have a few more days to decide but overall uh, i just really love the phone um it is a little heavy for me which is why i can't use it as a daily driver for that i still have my galaxy s20 plus uh, 5G, 512 gigabyte in Mystic Black. And the Mystic Black only comes in the 500, 512 gigabyte model. And for me, like having this screen is just way nicer than having this screen. I mean, just call me crazy, but this is a real phone size. Um, when it comes to typing, when it comes to uh, just using a one handed phone. I'd rather use uh, the I'd rather use this phone. On top of that, this is five grams. This is ten grams. And when you're using the phone close, it's like, why would I have such a small screen? Like, why would I sacrifice holding ten grams to get this much of a screen when I can hold five grams and get this much of a screen? It just makes no sense. And typing is so much easier on this. It's just more surface space, and it's just way more comfortable. But when you do flip this phone open, I mean, something amazing happens and it just gets like so light all of a sudden. When you're holding it, hold it, it feels heavy. <clears throat> and when you open it, it feels really light. And when you hold it with two hands while it's open, it's like a no brainer. There's no complaints. But the moment you fold it and the moment you realize that it is pretty thick, it is two phones um, on top of each other. And you realize that it's actually 10 grams. This becomes something else entirely. Texting becomes something else entirely. So for me, I love having my SIM card in this, picking up phone calls, answering texts, WhatsApp, messages, all of the above, emails. And I mean, don't get me wrong, emails on this too, but emails don't come up all the time. It's, it's that constant need to text. So sending 100 messages on this and sending 100 messages on this, you're going to feel the difference. That's without a doubt. So my review on the phone is the phone is brilliant. It's amazing. It has everything you could ever imagine. It's 10 times better than the previous Fold. And I, I didn't even think it would get this far. In terms of like looking at the old device and then looking at this one, it's like, wow, they really stepped it up. It has a high price tag of $2,000. And with that $2,000 comes with this box and this care 
and this service. And I kind of want to just talk about it a little bit because the screen repair for this phone is $500. And believe it or not, I cracked this phone. I didn't crack it. A friend of mine cracked it. We were putting up some of the shelves here and she was holding a nail and she just dropped the nail and didn't realize that my phone was still right there on the couch and the screen was open and the nail just came from hell like a cruise missile and just bing, completely pierced the phone. Where you can see the pixels dying and the ink or whatever you call that bleeding out left and right, kind of like how the wallpaper is, but except it was going black. You couldn't see anything. It was terrifying. It was horrific. The phone was brand new. It doesn't have a single scratch. It only has fingerprints on it. And here comes this nail that just destroyed the main screen. So I had a heart attack, but thank God for the one time Auto warranty screen replacement. This is a $500 voucher. Actually, it's a $350 voucher because you still pay $150. So, this having this is like having $350 in case something happens to your phone. You just go in with your phone. The IMEs match up. Uh, what I did was I took the box with me so they could. Just in case. Now, it also comes with this Galaxy Concierge service. I'm going to keep it a hundred with you. It's total bullshit. It's random people that pick up the phone. Not random, like obviously employees of Samsung. But whatever questions you have about your Galaxy device, you're supposed to call this number. It's actually on the same card. So it's the one eight 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 nine seven zero thirty six fifty three. 970 3653 You call that number. They help you with your phone, whatever your issues are. You can't connect to Wi-Fi, uh, data transfer, apps, whatever issues you're having. They help you learn how to use your phone. But I'm going to let you know that they're also learning while you're learning. So whatever question you're going to ask them, they're going to look it up. And basically what you can do on your phone on Google they're going to do on their system. So they're no better. They're, they're not like any special tier of hired specialists or experts. It's none of the above. It's just regular people who's there to help you. And they'll look up anything you ask them in regards to your Galaxy Z Fold 2. So don't get confused by the whole, oh, like, look at the, you know, look at the front of this executive service, luxury service. Like, no, it's it's all just a facade. Minus the screen repair, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it brings the price of the phone down, if you really think about it, if, if you feel like you ever might crack your screen. So I got to give Samsung a thumbs down for the service, uh, for the concierge service. I have to give them a super thumbs up for the one-time out-of-warranty screen replacement. And I have to give them... All my thumbs, all my toes, all my fingers up, my ears up for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Uh, this phone is just amazing. So that's just my thoughts. And last but not least, I know that everyone has been having an issue getting a case for this phone. Samsung doesn't have it. Verizon doesn't have it. AT&T doesn't have it. T-Mobile doesn't have it. So where are we going to get a case for this phone? I think it's absolutely irresponsible that Samsung just left all of its customers hanging, looking for phone cases, scrambling, getting their phone scratched and all of the above in the meantime, while barely offering any accessories. And things get a little crazy because I don't even want to fail to mention that after this screen was cracked, what it actually took to fix everything. So I went online and I followed the concierge 
card, right? It took me to the repair, the premium service. I scan that. You click support. You click repair. And then you start to realize, here, I, I can actually show you on here. So if you go to support and you go to repair service, find repair center, right? Let me show you how crazy of a hard time I had with this. So phones. So look, Galaxy S, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Z, right? Galaxy Fold. Guess what? I have the Fold 2. My shit is not even here. Boom. Roadblock number one. I don't have the Fold 1. I have the Fold 2. So already an issue, right? I can't even click it. So that didn't work out. Trust me, I tried. Back to support. Back to repair service. Back to request service. Okay, look, start repair service. In home, walk in, or mail in. Start repair service. And boom. Look, can't even do it because my phone doesn't come up. How grimy, right? All right. Find a store. Boom. Another problem. I don't even want to, like, take you guys through this journey. It doesn't lead to any light. Let me tell you another issue that happens. So, Samsung apparently has a contract with I fix it or you break I fix one of the one of the two they always sound the same to me and they're supposed to help with this one one year out of warranty service repair I called every single store between Manhattan, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn and Long Island Nobody had the parts for the phone. So let me say this again. I called everybody and nobody had the parts for this phone. So Samsung sold this phone, offered this service. But when it came down to someone who actually had a broken phone, the parts weren't even at the store. Luckily enough, I kept searching and Roosevelt Field Mall that there has a there's a Samsung Experience store inside. They also do the repair service. Mind you, I live in LIC and that's all the way in Long Island. Part of this repair service was to be able to walk to one of the local stores to get it done within 2-3 hours and then boom, you're back in business. Now I got to drive all the way out there. And on top of that, I have my surgery coming up. So I called, I tried to make the appointment, it wasn't working online. Even once I went through the Samsung Experience scheduling calendar, whatever the hell that was, it wasn't working, it wasn't letting me submit. Then I called, and then finally somebody picked up. I called once, it did nothing happen. Then I called again, and I got lucky, somebody picked up. I spoke to the gentleman, he's like, okay, I'll start a service repair for you, let me see what days we have available. The only day he had available was after my surgery, like a week after my surgery. I'm like, excuse me, sir, I do apologize. That won't work for me because, you know, I have my surgery coming up and somehow he was able to fit me in the day before my surgery. So, you know, it wasn't as easy as Samsung made it sound. And not everyone's going to be able to go all the way out to Long Island to get a phone repair. You know, it's just not as easy, easy. Not everyone has a car. So I just wanted to mention that that the service was kind of half-assed and you can tell that Samsung was definitely like unprepared and the fact that these other stores don't even have the parts is is ridiculous. So uh that's why even though they did a beautiful job on the phone um I have to give the Samsung Experience Store a super thumbs up in Roosevelt Field Mall. 
Anything else in terms of Samsung, thumbs down. The service, the concierge service, everything else, thumbs down. No accessories, thumbs down. Samsung Experience Store, thumbs up. You guys did a great job. So that's just my thoughts. And last but not least, like I've been saying, I'm sorry that I uh, was about to talk about it, but then I wanted to actually explain how, how getting this phone replaced a fix wasn't actually easy. Last but not least is actually the company that will make the phone case for this phone. And it's actually Norive. So this is the box that my phone, phone case came in. And if you look on the screen, this is the website. They make every phone, they make cases for every phone and so many customizable options, all leather, all premium leather, remotes, bags, wallets, and tablets and laptops. And I have one case right here. And this is the Galaxy S20 Plus. And look how beautiful this case is. And if you look at the screen, I ordered the cream exterior and the Antruche de Desert exterior. And then I chose the Ment Vintage uh, custom color interior for extra $10. And if you look, it's absolutely beautiful. So beautiful case, well made, pretty strong, and it has the green interior. I just thought it was pretty, but literally strong. And it has one, two, three, four magnets, <laughs> four magnets built in. I was going to say three, but I do remember there being four. I remember one being down here. When I bought this case, I didn't even know there were magnets. And I have a magnet phone holder on my car. So this just goes zoop right in. Zoop, 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 zoop. Any direction you put it, and it goes. And the fact that you can't even tell that there's magnets underneath that is beautiful. So, Noriv, I think you should definitely advertise that your cases have magnets. I had no idea. Even purchasing it here, it doesn't say anything about there being magnets anywhere. If and even the accessories, it tells you to add accessories. You can add a kickstand, you can add your engraving, a rear loop phone grip, and like a necklace piece, a belt clip. You can even gift wrap it if you're gonna buy a gift for someone down here. So I'm extremely happy with this purchase, the way it feels. This phone case came out to $88.08 for me. It was worth every penny. Like, and you know, it protects my phone. Got the Mystic Black S20. And I just love this phone. I love this phone. It's been great to me. So that's going to go right back in there. Fits perfectly. Doesn't fall out. I've dropped this a few times already. The case doesn't separate from the phone. And everything about it was just well made. This is excellent craftsmanship. And I just want the same for my Z Fold 2. On top of that, you can't get a case anywhere else. And as I was showing you, this is the packaging, how they send you their phone case. It's a company based out of Saint-Tropez, France. This is the box. And then inside the box is a red bag. The case comes inside the red bag. Beautiful, beautiful. They take a lot of pride in their work, and the work is premium. So, as you can see, we're going to go here to smartphone. We're going to go to Z Fold 2, see it says new. And then, boom. They're offering the pouch, and they're offering the leather cover. Starting from $68. Well, yeah, because it's two pieces, so... And you can choose the tier of leather you want. I was looking at the, you know, Addiction, Safayin leather. That's what it says. This one looks really nice. Uh, I was also looking at the Horizon, where I would get the black with a similar pattern. You can even get the black gator skin. This, this, or this. Different type of detail. Another one that I really liked was... 
the must in leather, this brown, beautiful. If anything, I was thinking about getting the navy blue exterior and then choosing the brown interior like this. Oh. Oh, there's a little design. You can get blue and red. Blue and... Oh, wow. Red stitching. Wow. Do you see this? I didn't even know about this. This is beautiful. That's going to be on the inside. Oh, wow. You can do blue and pink, you know? Whatever combination you want. This is... To me, this has always been one of my favorites with the tobacco brown interior. It's how I always wanted one of my BMWs. And then they even have like the suede type where it comes in this beautiful suede type leather. So this is a fantastic company. They just released this case today. It's a perfect opportunity for you to order one. It will take some time. It took me 28 days for mine to come in. Um, but that is because I custom made it. But unfortunately, for the Z Fold 2, you have to custom make it. I was looking at this green suede. It just looks like everything with the brown interior. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't even decide. I'm having a real hard time deciding. So I'm ordering mine tonight. I suggest you guys order yours too whenever you see this video. Uh, it's Norive. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you appreciate whatever feedback I gave you about the phone and the entire Galaxy experience, the service experience. If you have any questions, please go ahead and comment below. If this video helped you in any way understand the phone, the service, or even helped you discover this phone case, please like the video. Uh, it really helps us out. And when I say us, I mean me and YouTube. So YouTube's algorithm can then push this video to other people who need to see it. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, please comment below. I will get back to you as soon as I see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I love making these videos for you guys. I have way more coming. Take care.